Hello everyone, this is Kat with Cat Night TV. Today we are playing The Walking Dead Season 2. We are starting Episode 3 in Harm's Way. This is Part 5 of the Walking Dead Season 2 playthrough. So let's begin! Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. <laughs> Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. We're going home. As a family. You got done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. Uh, okay. Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get him tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? Well, what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. It caused trouble. People got hurt because of that stupid thing. People died. Well, if you try and take this one, honey, I'll hurt you myself. Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. What a jerk. In. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! <laughs> We gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. We're in a fucking precarious position here! We gotta do something about Settle that! Settle down, Kenny. 
They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean, worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help! I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin? That's not fair! You're blaming him for the actions of a madman! I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with it. Oh shit. Jackpot! Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. Yeah, okay, I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right, it's okay to be a little scared, but we gotta do this. All right, everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project will forward. Grow up, Sarah. You're gonna get us in trouble. I don't care. And don't tell me to grow up. You're just a little kid. 
I'm older than you. And I never got in trouble before. It's different now. I'll be fine. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue... Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see no you if you're messing with it. Just to survive, it's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Richie! <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped to us see you, but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Oh, right. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh... Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Sorry about that. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but, like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. She's watching us. Hmm? What's that? The woman over there is watching us. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine It's and... not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe he had his reasons. He killed Alvin, too. Listen, 
I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, I want him dead. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts... strange. Yeah. I guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking, there's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow, it moved in front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. That's when it got me. Can't believe you survived. I can't either, honestly. But Mike killed the walker, then took off the arm really quick, like he'd done it before. I still think he got higher than he needed to, but what are you going to do? Ouch. I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Just ended up bleeding out. Ended up turning anyway. Yeah, like this said, place seems like pretty secure. Done it before. Did a tourniquet on me real quick. Looks kind of crappy. So, how'd you end up with a name like Reggie? Kenny! What? I'm just asking. Hmm. No, Looks okay. rickety. It's not my real name. Well, my first day in the US, I stopped and got a coffee, and the girl behind the counter asked me my name, so I told her it's Rajiv. Then I just stood there while a guy yelled Reggie for five minutes. And that's when I thought. I should really get out ahead of this. Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Luke. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Cause me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. Why wouldn't he help us before we got here? I don't know. I just know he's out there still. He's smart. Smarter than me, that's for sure. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. Mm -hmm. 
Hello? Get lost. <laughs> such a friendly place. Such, such lovely people, too. Reminds me of the jewelry store. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? I get him in trouble to pull on the fence. Somebody already mentioned that. I didn't treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast. It became all about getting through each day. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. I've been racking my brain, but I just can't remember. I'm sure he knows. In his heart, I'm sure he knows. I hope that's true. All right, get going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up on me. Dad! All right, go the fuck to sleep. I'm shooting the first one of y'all I see wandering around before sunup. Everybody get to bed. Wow. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. <laughs> Might remember that. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Reggie, you're nearly back in. Keep following the path and we'll welcome you back with open arms. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example to I you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't must even be earned. Kenneth will be up. taking over Reggie's well, duties you don't outside have to be the wall. About it. Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... Carlos! Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, could... that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby-pammy thing, all right? A good hard smack. 
Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be... overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. Wow, he's an ass. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil, hurry up! God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine! Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stay gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but... It's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. It was cold. Well, you got them skinny arms, and you ain't wearing a jacket. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. Why didn't you? Leave, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take the situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Herds have come through before? Yeah. It's happened a few times. We've always come out on the other end, all right? It's something I think about whenever I consider leaving. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter and Alvin. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Alvin killed George when he escaped. He might not have meant to, but George died all the same. Ain't no saints in all this. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but 
They didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for skiing. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. I don't know. Oh, you don't like it. it it's not that. I thought it was kind of cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia! What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Follow me. Come on. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. So touch everything. <laughs> hey. You have to be tough, Sarah. Everything is harder now, but you have to be tough to survive. My dad's never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so, is she gonna be okay? Cause what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I talked to her. I think she's okay. Good, good. Cause I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. Here, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know, I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Ah, oh, shit. Oh no!
You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bell, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm... Shut up, the... shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. Sarah... she didn't understand. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Thanks for the help, girls. Wow. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence, it puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Yikes. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Wow. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tell on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Or did you... <laughs> shit! Fuck! Grab something! That worked. 
Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? That's it for this playthrough. Uh, we'll be back with more soon. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already. And hopefully you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.